listen to me very clearly, the ending of the cycle and the coming of the Christ. I am the black man. I am God. I love myself. I love myself, I love myself man. You feel me? What I'm doing is beyond Martin Luther King. It's beyond Malcolm X. It's beyond what I'm doing is beyond all of that. New disturbing video of Elysio Bishop and cult members. <laughs> Elysio Bishop, also known as Nature Boy. He calls himself Bishop, Nature Boy, Christ. Guess what? We have a God. We have our Savior. Yes. And his name is Nature Boy. Yes. <laughs> DeKalb police arrested Bishop in mid-April after a woman told them she had left a sex cult. I watched him whip a girl with a leather belt multiple times for 15 minutes straight. He was extorting money from a young person. Bishop lived off of other members' PPP loans and life savings. This is why I decided to leave Melanation. Brainwashed his ass. I don't like how the women are being treated. Tell him who Baba G is. God. Tell him. Baba G is God. Oh, somebody feels sorry for Tanisha. He's kind of mad that... Of course he's mad. He's always mad. It's because we're black. I'm just letting you know that right now. It ain't because of your color. It's because of your nasty attitude and your crazy eyes. We in the valley of the shadow of death. And we will fear yeah, no, no evil. evil. But listen, right. we will be humble. So, oh, that's your live right now? That's my live. Yeah. Your soul will be thrown into the abyss. This video is sponsored by Felix Grey. Felix Grey are the blue light glasses that started it all. Staring at a screen is basically like staring at a light and it can cause strain to the eyes and it can disrupt your sleep. So these are great to wear if you're trying to wind down while still looking at a screen. It helps to block out 15 times more blue light. And that's what I like about Felix Grey because they aim to improve our relationship with technology. These glasses are made from acetate. They're super light and I think they're quite stylish. This is the Volta style, and you can get this in black or the tortoise shell. This is the tortoise. It's called Sazerac is the color. Volta is the style. And you can get these in prescription or non-prescription. So if you're interested in these glasses, you can use my code NUR10 to get 10% off at checkout. And this offer is valid for 30 days. Thank you guys for sitting through that. And thank you to Felix Gray for sponsoring this video. Goodbye. <laughs> Today I want to talk about Elysio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Babaji, aka the God or Three God. Yes, he claims to be God and his followers claim he's God too. He recently got arrested. Nature Boy is in jail right now and he's charged with R word and false imprisonment and other things, but there are people who say that there are more crimes that he committed that he's not been charged for. They say he's responsible for someone's death. They also say he's done some really gross things with kids. So the whole thing started on April 13th, 2022 in Decatur, Georgia, when cops raided a home that Nature Boy and his followers were renting. They arrested Nature Boy and took some of his followers in for questioning. Turns out they were investigating Carbon Nation, that's the name of his cult, for weeks. A former member told cops that she had suffered various forms of abuse from Nature Boy and that she tried to leave before, but he wouldn't let her. And she tried another time. She finally left. And when she did, Nature Boy was pissed. She says that in retaliation for her leaving, he posted videos of her having sex online, which is a crime. It's called revenge porn. And so those were the charges. But as I said, some people think he did more and there might even be evidence of that, but I'll let you guys decide. When the cops raided Nature Boy's home, the neighbors came out and started talking to media. They said Carbon Nation is his cult. He's been whooping girls, beating girls, 
fertilizing girls, getting girls ready for marriage, a female neighbor said, not giving her name. And then another neighbor said, he controls them, they do what he says, and like I said, is turned into abuse, the neighbors have been complaining from what I hear. After Nature Boy's arrest, his followers remained loyal. They supported him, they spoke to media, they denied the allegations. We went by the home Thursday afternoon and several people who say they are Bishop's disciples came out and talked with me. Basically, the police raided us on false allegations. Followers who were at Bishop's home on Arbor Chase the night of the arrest defended their leader and insisted women are not mistreated here. He says those criminal accusations are from a disgruntled former member of the Carbon Nation family. The woman I was here, she gave consent to actually release it for sexual education. They believe in nature, nudity, and kindness. Everything that happens sexually happens among adults. Correct. Yes. Correct. Consenting adults. Yes. Correct. They call him God, literally. God is a very loving being. He's very caring. He's very... Um, Holy. This is a revolving door, and you can come in and out as you please. No one is being, no, no one is going to hold you against your will. Women come here, they don't get their way, and they go against the black man. Black man is God. The black, black man, man is God. God. And y'all just locked up the Messiah. Remember when I did the Mother God cult video, how they were always live streaming and they had a YouTube channel. Well, this is the same thing. They have YouTube channel. They go on Instagram live. They use other platforms to go live on. So there's so much like content of what they did. Nature Boy's wife, he has like a wife and then he has concubines, I guess you would call them. So his wife and concubines, they went on a live after his arrest and they defended him. They're like, he's God, he's the Messiah. You cannot box with God. You, they are simply throwing little pebbles and little stones. We've been fighting and fighting for freedom, for freedom. We have a God, we have our savior. Yes. And his name is Nature Boy. Yes. <laughs> Who is our God to worship? It is three God. He's literally our Messiah. You know He's literally Jesus in the flesh. People wait till after they gone. Ooh. Modern day Jesus is here. Yeah. yeah. And you will not shush him up. He is the melanated God. Yeah. He is the first he is he is the melanated God that all people come from. Exactly. And you and, and you judge us. And you throw stones at us when we trying to bring you truth. In addition to that, his other followers, because he has male and female followers, they called him, like, or sorry, probably he called them from jail, and they recorded that call and live streamed it as well. So not on camera. Yeah. On the camera? Yeah. Was the SD card in in the camera? The SD we cleared it like yesterday or two days like it was only footage from today. No, they took the laptop and hard drive. They took your laptop and hard drive. Yeah. But you hear these bogus ass charges? Yeah. Them charges bogus. Like they said, I raped material. Nobody, how you gonna rape a prostitute? Oh, well, we don't even know. Because they were trying to blame you. So I said no. I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing. One at a time. They were asking what? They was asking if you need assistance, do you need some help? We have an organization we can help you with. I was like, no, I don't need, I don't know you people. I don't want to talk to you. That some help, no, we, have, really we have options for you. That shit was real. Yeah. But I didn't, first of all, I don't trust that man. I don't need that man. Shh. Yeah. Why y'all keep doing this? It's because the people that hate me, they don't know you. Are united. Yeah. So you have to, you have to get people that love me together. Yeah. In the call, Nature Boy mentions how he hopes he gets bail. Oh, he can be bailed. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. Well, he didn't. He didn't get bail. A risk to intimidating the victim. Uh, there's also a risk of flight and uh, also the risk of committing an additional felony. So therefore, bond will be denied. Outstanding. To understand how we got here, we need to go back, back to the beginning, before Nature Boy was Nature Boy, when he was Eligio Bishop. According to an ex-member, her name is Erica Carroll. She said, quote, I know his mother and father died while he was a young age, so he was in foster homes, in and out of foster homes, and a couple did adopt him, and there was some abuse going on in that situation, so he had it hard but we've all had it hard. Everybody had it hard. He's originally from New York, but he ends up in 
Atlanta, Georgia. And according to him, he said that while he was in Atlanta, he was a stripper, uh, a gay escort. He did gay porn. He says that he was also a model and he claimed to have worked. I'm not sure in which capacity on the Monique show, the stand up comedian Monique. She had a talk show and he claimed that he worked on that show as well. He also had a criminal record in 2009 he was charged with forcible entry and then in 2011 he was charged with theft and aggravated battery and then he also had some charges for like driving with a suspended license in 2014 he decided he was going to leave the life of crime behind and he was going to go legit and so he got his uh, license to be a barber that license lapsed at around the same time that he started his YouTube channel in December of 2015 and he shows uh, how he's living. And you know, I noticed that he had like the chakra candles and he was vegan. He was showing the vegan food that he was eating. And soon after by 2016, nature boy was born. I love my self reflection. Say the video. Peace. At first he called his group the Ethereans, but then he changed it to Melanation. They called themselves Melanation. Melanation in the building, we got the whole family. Melanation gets its name from melanin, the pigment in our bodies that determines our skin color. Nature Boy told his followers that he was leaving hell, aka the United States, aka Babylon. He was gonna leave, did I voice crack? Babylon. He wanted to go off grid. He wanted people to come with him. They'll create a, like a community in nature, hence the name Nature Boy. And he started to get people who wanted to join him. First, he went to Honduras and he would show like how we're living in Honduras to get more people to come. He claimed that he was the chosen one. He also told his followers that they were chosen. I think he even has a video of like how to tell your, if you're chosen. The idea was to have this like paradise on earth and disconnect from the material world with all of its problems. And so one of the original members of this group is Erica Carroll. She is now an ex member and she calls it a cult. I call it a cult now. Yes. Yes, I do. So Erica arrives in Honduras and Nature Boy picks her up and one of the first things he does is give her a new name because her, her name Erica, that's her Babylon name. He gives her a new name, which is BP, stands for Blueprint because she's one of the first early members of his group. A few months after arriving in Honduras, they drive in a van, they go to Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, this is what Erica said happened, quote, she says, we slept outside in tents. We wouldn't live in the house. We would get up, eat fruit because we had to eat vegan or vegetables and we would get to work. When I got there, I felt I had a pretty good self-esteem and self-confidence, but after every day being there and told, you're not doing this right, you're so wrong. When I left, I felt like my self-esteem was so low. I had no confidence. We'd have to sit in these long meetings. He'd say we'd be facing our demons while doing that, but basically he's just projecting onto you what he has going inside of him. It was a lot of verbal and mental abuse. Erica then describes the breaking point when she knew she had to leave. That's when she saw a uh, nature boy basically hitting one of the women. He slapped her up and punched her a couple of times and then he told her to go in the, in the, in the tent and, and, give him, and give him oral sex. So that was the breaking point for me. When certain members would leave, new members would come. And when the new members came, it was the same process. You give them a new name, get rid of your Babylon name, and oh, of course, money. He would take their money. He would tell them that money was a distraction from their worship and they shouldn't be connected to the material world, but that he needed the money so that he could, you know, create the safe space for them to worship him course he was extorting money from a young person so i literally gave my money to him how much money did you give well i just gave him my debit card somebody donated me about three hundred thousand dollars it's all gone now and then of course on these live streams he would ask for money for donations he would constantly mention his cash app and he would say don't hate donate he had something against bathrooms. I don't know what it is, but he discouraged bathing and also pooping in toilets. 
he said that the only place you should poop is at on a tree like at the base of a tree that's where you should poop what's nature boy like because he's quite the character isn't he yeah when i watched the video i felt like i need to be with them i was with melanation within like two weeks you don't use the toilet well we really don't like using toilets the soil belongs to the trees and i'm in an abusive relationship with the tree if i'm not giving it back and also you don't need soap just water like in the natural waters in nature so uh as you can imagine there were lots of odors going on you know lori vallow and chad daybell i have like a bunch of videos on them uh they would mix like mormon things with new age things and like occult things and and it was like a mishmash this is kind of similar he would mix like abrahamic religions with new age spirituality yoga as well as like um what do you call it astrology that would explain uh this video that i found where he's basically dressed in <laughs> middle eastern garb and then he's sitting above his followers while he talks about astrology and the ego what is the ego good question the ego what is the ego you tell me what the ego is ego is one sense of self one sense of self exactly the ego is our conscious mind simply and we have took in something called pride or what we protect ourselves with as a, uh, a protective mechanism for instance if you're a leo or you're aries you might have a lot of pride so what they call the ego would be your pride you see what i'm saying and we mix up the ego with arrogance these are characteristics of the conscious mind but the ego is simply your astrological program yes i love myself i love myself it's giving dubai meets uh yoga guru meets bullshit <laughs> okay I, I don't know how people fall for this and the whole persona and what he's wearing like okay but he had followers that's the part that always gets me is these people have followers like maybe i should start a cult it seems lucrative remember my video about mother god how she would be like ding i'm receiving a message from the galactic federation well nature boy's thing was three 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 <laughs> so then now the polygamy thing he didn't introduce it at first like he eased them into it at first actually there were couples that he made like he would match the couples up and he had a girlfriend or a wife and other members had their uh i think he called them their direct or something like that and then though he would like snatch the wife from another male member almost like a power play at, le at least that's my interpretation so at this point things are going really good for nature boy okay he has his concubines he's pooping in trees he's making money from live streams he has a youtube channel things are going good for now until something happened he got deported from costa rica turns out they had overstayed their visas. A lot of them had expired passports, expired documents. Look at his eye. Look at his eye. It's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you, we're not going to be stopped. They can't stop this. But I'm getting ahead of myself because first I need to explain to you melanation and how, like, what it is and how it changed. The group believed that living in the sunshine of the tropics can make them superior beings. But this belief seems to be based on a discredited racial theory that the darker a person's skin becomes, the more their intelligence increases. So if you lack melanin, you are genetically retarded. His plan was to create a community entirely of what he called melanated people. But as it grew, white people were admitted. Anyone could now be melanated and gain greater enlightenment by getting brown in the sun of Costa Rica. This is when Kayla Reed enters the scene. I messaged Nature Boy this exact same day. People saying it's a cult. Canada is a cult, like the US is a cult. Everything, everyone is a part of a cult. My friend, and I've let everybody know your name. 
I'm Ray. Yeah. Peace Ray. Reflection. How did Ray. you pop up here? Sun Ray. Sun Ray. <laughs> Ray's here. Wait, isn't Nature Boy a prejudice? Isn't he racist? Yeah. How does he have white people there? Reflection. This hardware that you are you are now looking at. This hardware is a mutation hardware from the archetype. You cannot become the archetype or be the archetype without having the archetype software mm. consciousness. Thank you. And this is what changed a lot of things for Nature Boy because this brought him a lot of negative publicity because Kayla was, first of all, she was Canadian and she went missing. Like she joined them, but she didn't tell anyone. So her family thought she was missing. So this whole thing happens where they're looking for her, she's missing, and then they find out she's with Nature Boy in Costa Rica, and people are like, she joined a cult, so then her mom goes out, and she's talking to media, and she's like, my daughter, she's joined a cult, she's brainwashed, and then the media, like the Canadian media, go to Costa Rica looking for her. They end up finding Nature Boy and doing an interview with him. We are inside of our own bodies. Nature Boy. Each individual holographically. Go ahead. I, I want to talk about uh, the, the girl that we know as Kayla. I, well, I don't know a Kayla. Sunray. Oh, Sunray, yes. She is healthy. She is beautiful. Oh, my. She is the happiest that, you know, she says she's ever been. We all encourage her to just go live and let people know that you're okay and speak your own mind and, and tell them what's going on because she's actually afraid of the people that she ran away from. I made sure that she got in contact with the police station there in Canada. I also make sure that she, she got in contact with her with her mother and I'm a black man and she's a she's a white girl she's in a white girl form and I'm in a black man body and I also know that it might seem to the world that I'm holding her hostage so I wanted to make it clear that you know call your people let them let them know you okay because I don't want no problems on this end that's why I'm doing this interview with you because I don't want any problems so she can leave if she if she chose to leave oh yes in response to this Kayla's mother comes out and she says quote I was happy to hear that she was okay, but in the background, you could hear Nature Boy more or less telling her what to say. The conversation was very disturbing, she said. He was saying that they were her family, and it was a very disturbing conversation. Kayla is not thinking clearly right now. I think he has her brainwashed, and she is more or less doing whatever he says to do. According to Tammy Reed, Kayla's mom, Kayla has mental health issues, and she feels like that's why she's sucked into this cult. The thing is though, uh, she's an adult. And so at first it was a missing person's case when they found out that she was in this cult, but she was willingly with them. She came out, she said, you know, I don't want to be with my family. I want to be here. They really couldn't do anything about it. Eventually though, for whatever reason, Kayla decides to leave and she does this live stream with Nature Boy where they explain why she's leaving. So, uh, yeah, I'm going back to Canada mainly because uh, I, of the safety of us, I don't want anyone getting, anybody getting hurt because I'm here. Like, so why did you leave in the first place? We can't own Why, why did you leave in the, why don't you tell them why you left in the first place? Did I call you like, hey, come join us, be here with no. us? Am, am I controlling or manipulating no, your mind? I, I was going to leave Canada even before I found nature, so I got put on pills because I want to leave. So and basically her family, you know, she's saying that her family just basically put you on medication because you try to leave. Like she tried to go to Hawaii before she got here. Yeah. Now, I, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, and I, but I did ask her before she got here, do you have crazy parents? She was like, well, they don't matter. I'll throw my phone away. Cause we had someone here else that was white that got snatched out of here before. There's another thing I want to address. Um, it seems to be that you might not be able to join me. Um, if you're white, F, you want to join Nature Boy. You're not allowed to join me anymore. What you are allowed to do is do what I did. I'm leading by example. I haven't been the most pleasant personality. I will admit that. I will admit that I've said the, the truth in a mean way. Like I said it in a firm, authoritative way. And sometimes I get 
so mad about the evils in the world that when I speak, I could come off so strong. But my heart is pure and my message is pure. And I um, want to apologize if I offended anybody in any kind of way. And I'm sure Sunray wanted to speak for herself before you get back because they're probably gonna, <laughs> isol they're probably gonna try to isolate you and try to twist your words around and speak for you. And So don't worry about the comments. Don't read those. This is how we will destroy the planet I mean, to destroy the cancer on the planet. The reporter starts talking to other ex-members of Nature Boy's group, and they did not have good things to say at all. If um, Nature Boy is not done talking or done doing this, then we don't go to sleep. I got in trouble for not for missing a meeting, and and I, what I was doing was putting him to sleep. Is it a cult? It is. Videos were emerging online of former followers attacking him. It ain't because of your color, it's because of your nasty attitude and your crazy eyes. What's your relationship like with Nature Bueno? I don't even talk to him. Not at all. So I literally gave my money to him. How much money did you give? Well, I just gave him my debit card. He was buying a lot of materialistic objects. It's about how you use the material thing, it's not yeah, about of course. what the material thing means. But do you so, really need a ping pong table? Do you need sportsmanship to foster brotherhood? Yes. That is a, a utility. It's not just an object. No, of course, yeah. We got a call. It was Nature Boy. It's not behind your back if he's going to interview you, though, right? It's, a, it's about the movement. It's not about you anymore. He's kind of mad that... Of course he's mad. He's always mad. This is why I decided to leave Melanation brainwashed his ass. I don't like how the women are being treated. Ran everybody that was there out. Around this time, the name of the group changes again. Instead of Melanation, it's now Carbon Nation. He's known as Nature Boy, but also as like Three God, you know, Three, Three, Three. Three, Three, Three. Three, Three, Three. Mm -hmm. As the Messiah, he can heal people. He can heal people. He believes that all illnesses or diseases come from the mind and that it's all a mind for like a mindset thing and he believes that he has the power to heal and if you just go in the sun eat your fruits think positively you're you're going to be totally healed and he's preaching that well remember how i told you some people think he's responsible for his followers death you influenced her to stop taking her medications you actually influenced her to stop taking her medication that's why she passed away the way she did well the person that most people reference is someone called mama dia now her real name is magdalena sevilla and she had a heart condition i take a medication from my heart but i don't have that anymore i've been grounded eating the right um, um, it was Nature Boy that encouraged her not to take her medication and so she didn't. She stopped taking her medication and she died two months after she joined the cult. Some people blame Nature Boy for her death, allegedly. Don't sue me. There was something else that he did and that was just be a horrible person. He just treated everyone like shit. There is an ex-member. Her name is Velvet. The wife of a reported cult leader wants to tell her side of the story. He literally held me hostage. He took all of my identification, my passport, my my uh, birth certificate, my social, my bank cards. She gave him her $3,000 college fund. She says Bishop, the leader of the so-called cult, Carbon Nation, went from spoiling her to abusing her when she got pregnant. I was forced to engage in sexual activity that I did not want to do. I was be still strangled on multiple occasions. At this time, she's like his main girl and he ends up getting her pregnant. She has a baby and then there's this awful live stream. Once you get emotional, you think it's okay to drop the moral code, right? Everything is cool with you until you get emotional. The only reason why you upset is because you caught. I've been here all day in this spot. I did yoga in this spot. I was there at Yana in this spot. I was sleeping in this spot. And I came back to this spot. Your 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 dishonesty is less than less than moral because it'd be different if you could admit what I seen. Yo, sit down. Sit down, yo. 
The baby's in your hand, yo. Hold on, Chris. Hold on, Chris. I think I should keep this rolling. Velvet left the group and listened to the disgusting reason why Nature Boy wanted to have uh, kids with different women at the same time. This is according to Velvet. She said, he stated to me that the reason why he wanted all of the wives was that he wanted to impregnate all of us so that we can have his children, so that he can meet his children together, so that he can inbreed. Did you throw up in your mouth a little bit? Because I did. So, although Nature Boy had like all these wives, there were lots of gay rumors about him or, or bisexual or something. Now, I don't care. The reason why I'm bringing it up is because it becomes this recurring theme and Nature Boy brings it up a lot. I, 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 I went into the flow of it and I asked the universe, I want to know, what makes someone homosexual? Like, honestly, I want to know why are there homosexual people in the world? Why, is it, why does it exist in nature? Why do we do that? The answer came through me in the flow of my teaching. It just came out of me. The answer just came, and it was so crisp. If we don't live in a world that allows females to express themselves completely in freedom and, and so that we can get the most out of them collectively, then we summon the homosexual spirit. Nature does this to bring balance. Homosexuals. They have high IQs. Their creative level is out the roof because they tap into the divine feminine. And they get status because they're smarter. They, they're made smart, they have a high IQ, right? So that gay people are very smart. <laughs> when I learned this, I was amazed. Yo, that's... When I learned this, I was like, oh wow, I, didn't, I never thought about the metaphysical reasons of being homosexual, I never thought of them. They tell me I have a disease. They said, you're, you're sick. And they repeated it and repeated it and repeated it and repeated it and repeated it. I don't believe in going to no doctor to put no spell on me to, to, to sell medicine to me. I feel good. One person has herpes, that's a human being. We all have herpes. So I wanted to understand disease to teach about disease. A virus is an entity that cannot reproduce on its own. Hello! When you call me something, Trust me, I go do my research very deeply. I know that me personally am not a homosexual. I know that I have no diseases, but if one of us have a disease, then we're all having a disease because they're calling me the one with HIV and I don't have HIV, unfortunately. But I do have HIV as far as what we all are. If one person has it, we all have it. I literally took an HIV test and it didn't even matter. HIV is cancer. Holy shit. I would have a transsexual wife, and I will, and I will. I do like transsexuals because I I'm attracted to that, and I have to be honest about that. I I don't feel like that makes me gay because I look at her as a woman. So the best head I ever got was from a transsexual, unfortunately. So me, insensitive to so many people. Oh, world peace immediately. Michael, take me away. Sometimes in life, we bottle things in. Your mind really controls your health. Guys, do your yoga, 
Yes. I love yoga. Do you love yoga? I love yoga. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Okay, so guys, listen. I'm a producer. I'm an actor. I'm an actor. God. Guys, I'm an actor. I'm just not for sale. I'm probably the best actor you've ever seen in your life. In addition to him treating the women in the cult like shit, he also treated the men like shit. He would smack them, he would degrade them, he would make them go and like bring him water and like, you know, feed him the water. Uh, he would make them feed him food. Then he would get mad and smack them if they gave him like a strawberry instead of something else. Did I ask for a strawberry? Bitch, did I ask for a strawberry? No, Don't you act in your motherfucking life. Give me no motherfucking strawberry. That's an act for one, motherfucker. Was it three? It, the whole thing, it, like, let me tell you. See, at first, I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be 100% honest. When I was editing the footage, I was laughing. But then, after watching it over and over again, it, w it wasn't funny anymore. Then I was sad because it's ridiculous uh, like in the beginning but then when you look at their eyes not nature boy because he has crazy eyes but when you look at the other followers eyes they're like dead inside they're broken they look sad they look like they have nothing left and it's like how bad do you have to feel about yourself to accept this shit you know it's like they're probably saying worse things to themselves than what he's saying that's why they're accepting that and that's sad you know what i mean if that's not funny and it just i hope now that he's in jail that maybe they love themselves maybe forgive themselves for whatever they're punishing themselves for they release their shame have some self-respect because nobody deserves to be treated like this it, it, it's just awful now if you thought that was bad it gets worse brace yourself and consider this your trigger warning the next clip i'm about to play is nature boy in his own words talking about uh his, what he does with his son and uh, this is your trigger warning for sa and children and stuff like that tap 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 until the clip goes off the screen of nature boy if you don't want to hear this you know why i don't let kids around me other people kids around me because the way i am when i see my son this is how i treat my son we neck it together i take bath with my kids i'm naked with my kids i have sex in front of my kids my son be breastfeeding and i'll be making love to his mom that's how i get down around kids i try to keep their purity my son comes up and grabs my penis i let him grab my penis i say yeah look you got one too and he laughing and the moment is over it ain't it's pure i make love to their mama right in front of them like a real man that's how I get down, homie. I think I am a child. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm pure in my mind and children are pure. I like to embrace the kids. Like, come here, I like to fuck with their psyche. And if I did that other around other people's kids, they would put me under the fucking jail. You can't be a real human. That's why I don't let nobody kids here but mine, homie. Because I ain't about to alter my life for no one. I walk around naked. You know what? I hope you get shanked in the urethra in prison with love. Three, three, three. On a lighter note, because we need to lighten the mood just a little bit. Um, on a lighter note, so remember how I told you he kept getting deported in Central America? Well, one of the times they got deported, they had to board a plane, right? Because they were deported. Well, they were kicked off the plane. Why? The Spirit Airlines won't let us on a flight because they said we stink, but nobody stinks. We need a lawyer. We need to like, this like a lawsuit has to be done about this. It's crazy. Like, we don't stink. They said that we can't get on the plane because we stink. You said we can't get on the plane because we stink. You said we can't get on the plane because we stink, bro. It's because we're black. I'm just letting you know that right now. Make this go viral, y'all. Can you tell us why we got off this flight? Why did they tell us to get off the flight? If you can go in this place because some passengers didn't say that you smell. But you saying the passengers said that we smell? Yes. We're going to be eating anything that stinks. Remember, right? They don't bathe and they're in the sun all the time. Sweating plus not bathing equals smell. 
I don't care who you are. And the saddest part was there's a clip where one of the guys like lifting up his arm to smell himself. And it's like, we've all been there. I felt bad. Okay. Let me tell you what happened to me one time. One time I, I was using natural aluminum free deodorant and I went to work out. Now this is one of those bougie workout studios where they don't have showers. And I had to run some errands afterward. Do you see where I'm going with this? So I'm in Target and I reach for something and I get a whiff of, I'm like, is that me? Is that me smelling like that? It was me. It was me. And I, I, I literally was walking with my hands attached to me like this. I went straight to the self checkout because I wasn't, I was trying to stay away from anyone. Went to the self checkout, was checking out myself, drove my ass home immediately. I've threw, I've never thrown deodorant so violently in the trash okay it, it sucks to smell you know and it makes you insecure I, I just felt bad like when i saw the video even though it was funny kind of when he's like we don't smell we we don't stink we don't stink they all look demoralized and i'm sure if he said we can bathe they all would have bathed but I, they're listening to his stupid rules and anyway they end up getting on a flight later on and they go back to the US. They go from place to place, you know, in the US and they end up going to Hawaii because they want to be tropical near the equator, the sun, and they end up getting arrested in Hawaii. Remember, right? Pandemic la freak sa chic. They broke quarantine rules. There's like a 14 day quarantine. They were not quarantining. It was just a little bit like they got released soon after. Now remember Velvet, the ex member I told you about, well, they got arrested June, 2020 in Hawaii by August, 2020. She says nature boy forced her to marry him in Vegas. In one of those Vegas chapels of all places. She said he stated in front of us that if anything happened to him, then I would be able to bail him out of any jail or prison or anything like that. And that was the reason for him marrying me. Other than the fact that he wants to completely destroy me as a person. Velvet said that now that she had her daughter, now that she was starting to see the abuse through the eyes of her daughter, she couldn't take it anymore. And then finally, November, 2020, she leaves and she leaves for good. She said that it took her a while. She would sneak and get a document here, a document there. Velvet was the main wife. They would call her the queen. Well, she's gone now. So there's a new queen, Malia. And wow, he treated her like shit. If that's how he treats the queen, I don't want to know how he treats the peasant. Come over here like she is. Act like you want to be over here. Act like you want to be over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. She ain't leaving soon because you were Aries. Tell him. Tell him what you what, get closer. Huh? You want me in jail, don't you? Go ahead, devil. Go ahead, devil. Abuse, yes, I'm abusing them. Now to come do something about it. You know you're trying to make these people feel sorry for you. Ain't nobody feeling sorry for you. If you need to get saved, blink twice. <laughs> you don't want it. Don't save us. She don't want to be saved. Malia, leave. Do you want to leave, Malia? Tell them what happened if you leave here. You'll go crazy, won't you? Yeah. Tell them who Baba G is. God. Tell them. Baba G is God. Now confess it. Proclaim it. Baba G is God. Call the police. Put him in jail. She belong with me. She the weak link. Tell him we're home at. Tell him we're home at. Baba G. Oh, Malik. Ma yeah, yeah. What's going on? No. What's up? <laughs> I'm trying to see. What's up? I'm not fighting anybody. I'd rather get beat up than fight. That's not who I am. Why you keep disrespecting Baba G? Why you keep disrespecting me? Why you keep being ungrateful? It's because you trigger me. Go outside, bro. It's your birthday, baby. We're going to turn up. Hey. Chat, chat, chat. She also left and then came back. And then there was this video I found online where she comes back and they make her do this weird humiliation ritual. She like gets on a knee and does the 333 symbol. Is
What do you got to say for yourself? not speaking from your heart that you're just saying shit. And then there was this weird video of him and the wives and he's like deliberately filming their bruises or one of them's bruises and their smiles that these the saddest smile you'll ever see. It just I hate that video so much. And then he's like zooming in on one of the girls like bruises like, it's like he's deliberately showing the abuse. I don't understand. He goes back to Atlanta. Well, not Atlanta, Decatur, Georgia, to the house. The house that I told you guys in the beginning that got raided, where he got arrested from. Okay. And he's spiraling, okay? They, they're they doing these live streams. The black man is God. Black, black man is God. God. The black man is God. Tell him. The black, black man is God. God. Say, you have this control, King. You have this control, King. Damn! I'm Caesar. Caesar! Pass! Victor! Call me. I got that green shit. This is our handshake. I don't know this handshake. This is the handshake of our genetics. This is our handshake. Right here. One, two, right here. You grab the thumb. Right there. The yin and the yang. It's a circle. Our hands do it. Harmony. Look at it. They naturally do it. And the other side. Is a spiral of life. Watch the third part. Ready? <clears throat> Three, six, nine. Nikola Tesla, that's our shit. We was dogs. These ain't gang signs. These shits mean mathematical equations. And you have to unlock the universe. What is y'all talking about? Remember? Hmm. All of my children, you better get this message to them. They got three days. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that's even more. Oh, yes, sir, master. Oh, yes, sir, master. I programmed it. Um, it's my zeros and ones everywhere. You have three days, my friends. And when I move, you move. Just, Just like, like that. that. I'm talking to all my children. Stop getting stuck watching me. You got three days to get here. Anybody that's not here by April 1st, well. <laughs> your soul. Will be thrown into the abyss. Let it be written. Let, Let it be, be done. done. You think you're alive, but everything will be weird for you. You are speaking to God. How may I help you? Oh, they always scared of me. Why are everybody so scared of me? I'm such a loving person. They're not in the middle of the jungle anymore. They're in the United States in a neighborhood and they're neighbors and people can see and hear this stuff. And they're also live streaming. So people are calling the cops on them while they're live streaming. And there's even footage of this. You say we gon' be alright. What's happening on the What's going on? Let's go. Get his clothes right there. If he have to go. What's your clothes? 
Did I do something wrong? I mean, you look like you did something wrong right there. But... I got your live. Your clothes are right there behind you. <laughs> What's up, G? Listen, you say one thing on your live. What? Let me have it. 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 Let me I'm teaching about nature and natural living. Mm -hmm. We always on camera. Everything on record. That's why, on, gotta, that's why I record everything. That's why I'm on. I'm recording you, so you good? Yeah. We are peaceful people that that teach meditation and living in tune with the universe. You put your address online? Yeah. Why? Because I want a bitch to try me. <laughs> uh, you will walk out of camera on that one. Huh? You will walk off on that one. No, I wouldn't walk. I want a nigga to try me. My address is this is two nine nine three. My shit is 2993 what? Uh, uh, Arbitrary Trace. 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 33? 33, 33 right now. Yeah, yeah, right. But my videos is going viral. I just put it up to TikTok. I'm like 33 people, like 33,000. 33, 33, 33,000. 33, but we got, I'm following all together. We got, 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 got 90,000 on YouTube. Yeah, yeah like I, I'm pretty good on people, bro. But, but the thing is, I'm about to be more famous in a minute. I see you my invoice? Uh, yeah. yeah. You say, yeah. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't do this for free. <laughs> no, nah, man. <laughs> All right, my boy. Be good, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he look like Mac Miller. He's a nigga, too. Yeah, he's a white boy, but he's black on this. Then there's this weird thing that happens in Atlanta. And to me, it was funny. Sorry, but it was. Basically, he goes to this nightclub called Boogaloo and he tries to get in and he comes with his women on his arm and they have the feathers in their hair and he's nature boy and he basically gets denied entry into the club. Three, three, three. But you follow me, you take follow my commands, three. never G. The three. Push and three. The Push three. three. Always and forever loyal to the three. Push Push three. three. I'm the commander in chief. We in the valley of the shadow of death. Ooh. And we will fear yeah, no, no evil. evil. But You're listen, right. we will be humble. Oh, what's up, my boy? Up in the room. Oh, I'm not. I'm on social media. I'm promoting. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. He off the social media. Get him off social media. He don't want social media. Cut him out. Are you good? No, they're not good. They're 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 <laughs> what? what? Yeah, I remember a lady, she came by my house for, to do a check. Oh. Yeah. You always come by the house. Uh. She always come by the house oh, when they do that. Well, no, 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 they no, 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 they don't want me in there. You need to just relax. Being God is not You're cool. Not I'm pure love. Why are people scared of me? You I'm can't scared. walk away. How do you walk away? You turn. I'm scared of my own you. energy, and people are scared of me, and I don't know Listen. how to respond to this. Okay, look at the office. How you do? Listen, when we go in, we're going to take it. Listen, just relax. You're the dog. We don't worry about them. We don't worry about them. Keep energy, peace, love, radiate that.
Hmm. Nobody wants to play with you. I gotta go back to the car. They opening up the door. Goddamn. I'm trying to get like you. Wait, what's going on? What's y'all doing today? What's y'all doing? I look nice. Look at y'all. Y'all going to the blue? Happy birthday, birthday girl. Thank you. <laughs> what y'all got going on? Y'all look nice. Y'all look shocked. Look at all the accessories. <laughs> no, this is gone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at, look at her. Follow me at allegedly be on Instagram. Yes. I know that's right. Oh. Oh. Damn. Let's go it. Everybody, it's my birthday. Let's see you. Let's meet y'all. That's a nice looking lady. Oh. <laughs> I feel like he made them do all that because he felt embarrassed that he couldn't get into the club. So he's like, look what I can do. The walls are closing in on Nature Boy. It is now March 2022. Something is about to happen that's going to end up being the reason why he gets arrested. And remember how he makes the girls smack each other? Well, one of these girls gets hit by another girl because she was directed to hit her and she tries to leave. She says he doesn't let her leave. And in addition to that, he forces himself on her. That's what she said. She finds a way to leave. This upsets Nature Boy. He gets pissed. He posts videos of her having sex online. She then calls police and reports this, and that's when the investigation began. So the investigation lasts for two weeks, and that's when the police raid the home in Decatur and arrest Nature Boy. And that is the story of Nature Boy in a nutshell. He is currently in jail. We'll see what happens. I had to pull myself and stop watching the live streams at one point. It was like turning into a problem. I can see why the, he had all these followers and people watching. It's just, it's like, it's like a horrible, horrible accident where you can't turn away. And you know you probably shouldn't be watching, but you're still totally, totally watching. I hope the members do whatever makes them happy. I just want them to be happy, whatever that means for them. And you know it is what it is thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye